Trials in an experiment with the polygraph, so polygraph is a lie detector test, include 97 results that include 23 cases of wrong results and 74 cases of correct results. So this is a bit tricky, so our total here, the total number of observations is 97. Okay, what is our successes? Well, we have to keep reading. It's going to be either 23 or 74. Use a 0.05 significance level, that's our alpha, to test the claim that such polygraph results are correct less than 80% of the time. Okay, so success is being correct. So 74 is our successes. All right, let's go ahead and set up our null and alternate hypotheses. So H sub 0 and H sub 1. So reading it again, it says, test the claim that such polygraph results are correct less than 80% of the time. So it's a percentage, so it's P, and it's strong, so we keep it. So less than 80%, so less than 0.80. The null hypothesis is always equals, so we keep that one. That's it. What's all this other stuff? It's just asking the questions that are going to be asked again. So we can go ahead and go through our motions and get all the answers and then type everything into the homework. So we'll go to question help, then you go to stack crunch. I'm going to click this little arrow so it's easier to see. So we go to stats, proportion stats, one sample, and it's with summary. Okay. Stat, proportion stats, one sample with summary. Let's see, our successes, that's 74. Our observations is 97. Uh, this is a hypothesis test. So here we have to enter our P, so 0.80. And then this is less than 0.80, so 0.80, everything looks okay. So 74 successes, observations is 97. Everything matches what we have written down. Click Compute. Step 2 is always the test statistic, so I'll write it out. Z equals negative 0.9138.1155. And the p-value, the p-value in this case is 0.1804. All right, I'm gonna close stack crunch. And let's finish the rest of the question, and then we'll go ahead and do the homework. So four, uh, so here we have to decide if we reject or we fail to reject. So whenever the p-value is smaller than alpha, we reject HO. In this case, it's bigger, so we fail to reject. So fail to reject HO. So if the p-value is smaller, we reject. Bigger, we fail to reject. Step five is the interpretation. We always start our interpretations by mentioning the level of significance. So at the 5% level of significance, and if we reject HO, then there is enough evidence to say H1 is true. Because we fail to reject HO, there is not enough evidence to say H1 is true. So there is not. There is not. So if reject there is, reject there is, fail to reject, there is not sufficient evidence to claim that. Then you can go to the last sentence or the you know the actual claim, H1, right? So that the proportion is less than 0 0.80. It's also in the problem though, so that such polygraph results are correct less than 80% of the time. So that such polygraph results, let's, use, let's even use that word, such polygraph results are correct less than 80% of the time. So that would be a full hypothesis test, right? A full hypothesis test, all five steps. All right, let's answer the homework. Let's see, so it uh, looks like it's going to be this one here because it's equals and less than and it has the 0.8s. Let's try it. Good stuff. It wants two decimals for the test statistics. So it uh, looks like negative 0.91. Negative 0.91. Well done. The p-value wants four decimals. Yay. I, sometimes it wants three. It's kind of weird. I, I prefer four. I think four is better. Um, so I'm glad it's asking for four. And we failed to reject HO. So there was not enough evidence to support the claim that the polygraph results are correct less than 80% of the time. That's it. I hope that made sense.